Generic greetings and welcome to Full Throttle. This is an old LucasArts adventure game as it clearly shows there from 1995. I believe it was the first game that Tim Schafer was like the head honcho on. So I think he said something along the lines of I, I, I did it all, my, all by myself along with 30 other people or some uh, other such quote. Um, it was a game that I remember fondly and I have played several times. In fact there was one point where I could pretty much speed run it in a couple of hours but uh, that's story for later on um i used to play it uh, not really understanding a lot of it because it's set in this weird futuristic world it's set in like the 2040 uh, where you've got things like um, well like that like a hover limousine um but it's also very industrial very big so it reminds me of blade runner now i guess when I, mean, I didn't see blade runner when i originally played this back in probably 98 uh, but either way it's uh, something that used always confused me a little bit and you've got these weird creatures as well called cavefish later on uh, the game itself uh, is really around uh, it follows a guy called you know Ben who you play and it. instead of playing the wuss, the sap, the nerd, you play the uh, the big, swole, hairy, gruff talking biker and instead of being on the receiving end of the punches and the kicks, you do the punching and the kicking and that's the sort of thing that I found interesting. It was a very, very weird twist. You and your uh, biker gang, the Polecats, will essentially go through, oh, spoiler alert here, so if you don't want to know any more of the story then please feel, fully, please feel free to turn off now and wait for the uh, remaster that's coming at some point which is one of the reasons why I'm doing this video or check the link in the description if I can actually find one to get hold of this I don't think you can actually get hold of this game anymore but uh, either way you might find it on eBay or there's some such but the guy you play is um, well he's this guy a guy that does this um, yeah <laughs> he's a guy that drives a motorcycle over a limousine and then heads off into the distance. That's the guy you play. And that's one of the reasons just why this game is so awesome. It is one of the best adventure games I've played. I don't think it's the best. I think uh, The Curse of Monkey Island has to be my top pick, but um, it's a fantastic game. And this shot as well. The music is badass. The voice acting uh, for a couple of characters, especially Ben, is absolutely spot on. Probably one of the best bit of uh, casting in a video game. And watch how awesome this panning shot is. Uh, you look a badass in the dictionary and you get a picture of that. Yeah. That's badass. <laughs> the guy that uh, voices Ben is uh, Roy Conrad, as shown there. And it is one of the best pieces of uh, casting ever. Like, the he conveys so much weight. He's not just like, I'm playing the swole, gruff guy. Rrr. But when he's threatening, he's very threatening. When he's sympathetic, it really comes through. It's just a fantastic, fantastic thing. Anyway, what I'm going to do, um, we could sit and listen to this awesome uh, theme track. And the, in fact, the soundtrack throughout the game is fantastic. We could, we could, we could listen to this all day. But uh, what I'm going to do is skip ahead to actually the actual gameplay. And um, I'll explain essentially what's gone on it's the game is essentially a revenge plot uh murder yeah, i guess like it's a murder revenge redemption storyline um the idea is that uh, on that limo there was the sharehold one of the shareholders and uh, uh, malcolm corley the person who is in charge of the corley motorcycle company the only motorcycle company in uh this uh i assume america but we'll say this country i can't remember if it was actually america or not and um uh, what happens is they go into a shareholders meeting and one of the shareholders, the uh, big guy in the limo that you saw, actually voiced by Mark Hamill, said, uh, wouldn't it be great if uh, so we, we bring these bring these, uh, bring these, these guys along uh, to the shareholder or something like that. I think that was the idea. Um, and they asked the, the Ben, who's the, uh, the head honcho of the Polecats, which is your biker gang, and he said, no, go away. And... Instead of taking no for an answer, they took him around back, beat him over the head or with a pipe, and then flung him in a bin, and then told the rest of the polecats that they, they, he'd agreed and to go and scout ahead. And then there's loads of other stuff, including murder and uh, things like that later on. But uh, what we need to do first is get out of a bin. And um, one of the things I find uh, really interesting about this is that um, the first action you do in the game, just to set the tone, is to punch open a dumpster. And I think that sets the tone for this game quite nicely. Here's our character, our protagonist, Ben. And he will wander around. Your actions when you do things, when you hold left click, are either look at it, lick it, punch it, or kick it. So, yeah, you can kick it. Take that. 
take that. Punch it. I've touched it enough. No, what about lick it? I'm not putting my lips on that. Understandable, what about looking at it? I've woken up and worse. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, uh, games before around this time used to have like a myriad of options down the bottom. So look, use, interact, pull, push, all that sort of thing. Whereas this, you've got this sort of wheel, which is uh, really cool. I'm guessing it's a bit like a, a bit like a tattoo. It's, it's on fire, I guess. So you can like go to a dumpster, hold left click, and then you look around. Obviously, you can see it. You can. I don't know why you taste. That's mean. I think it's that's supposed to be look at it and get more information. Talk rather than lick. Punch it and kick it. And I like the fact that two of the options are violence. <laughs> two of the four options. Fifty percent of the options you get in this game are violence. You can right click as well. I don't have anything. Which well, actually doesn't have anything. But you right click and it brings up your inventory. So let's go around to the front of the kickstand, which is the bar that we are in. So we'll go around and there you go. There's the kickstand. And we will go over to our motorcycle. This is our bike. So let's get on it. And see what happens. The thing is, because I've played Good so much, thing Rip didn't touch my I know bike. pretty much exactly what's going to happen. Good thing for him. <laughs> Good thing for him. Let's get on it. Let's get on the bike. And we'll hands in pockets. Look around. Uh, no keys. That's a shame. What a shame. Some joker took my keys. Yeah. I don't like that. No, he doesn't like that at all. Uh, I've, I remember. Well. Uh, just a couple of days ago, as of the time recording, I saw the remaster of this. Because uh, Tim Schafer and uh, Double Fine doing a remaster. And I, would, I I looked at this and went, yep, that looks like the old game, but better. Fantastic. That's just what I wanted. Anyway, kickstand. Let's have a look. See what we can do. The kickstand. Hmm, the kickstand. So, we're going to uh, open the door. No, we're on the open door. Open up. No, nope, nobody's in there. We'll, uh, we'll do it again. Open up. Nope, not working. Okay, so, uh, what about this then? That worked. <laughs> like I say, the start of this game sets the tone quite nicely. So we'll go inside. <laughs> I, uh, fixed your door. <laughs> it was sticky. <laughs> Look, I don't nice. want no trouble. Just leave me out of this mess. Oh, good grief. But this is what I was on about where it's a weird... It's futuristic, but it's sort of not. Like, look at all this really weird technology. Like, it's obviously loads and loads of screens all over the place. Um, but then you've got, like, an old piano there. You've got, like, uh, the tables and chairs. is like the old... So it does remind me of Blade Runner. Let's have a look on the telly. What's on there? The monitor doesn't have any controls. No. Yeah, the signal is piped in from Kickstand National Headquarters. Ah, Kickstand National Headquarters. So this is a chain pub. Oh, God. The chains are everywhere. <laughs> let's lose all individuality in the uh, the watering hole. So let's have a talk with the bartender. We're not going to lick him. Looks like you're out of customers. Mm. Yeah, your gang talk off with those, those well-dressed gentlemen. Okay, fine. So what'll it be, Mac? So, uh, where'd everyone head off to? Where'd everybody head off to? What am I, the cruise director? Maybe they're up on the Lido deck. Mm. <laughs> nice. I think you're in on this whole bum deal. <laughs> yeah, well, what are you going to do about it? What am I going to do about it? I reckon I'm going to punch you in the face. You know what might look better on your nose? <laughs> what? The bar. The bar. <laughs> now, don't mess around with me. All right, this guy all right. don't take any crap, does he, from keys, anyone? But I don't know nothing. <laughs> they had guns. Right. They told me to stall you as long as possible. Okay. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. What else? Nothing. Nothing. Ambush Look, up the road, man. eh? Here are your keys, all well, right? Well, let's drive towards it, I guess. We'll have our keys back first. Thank you. Oh, uh, someone did say something about killing you and making it look like oh, an ambush. Interesting side note, then, eh? Didn't do too good of a job there. <laughs> but why ambush the pole cats? I'd better get moving. Better get moving. Okay, so we've um, discussed that we are going to be at an ambush at the road. So um, what you might do in a, a previous adventure game, or like an older adventure game, is like you would uh, rig up some sort of pulley system and jig to fire yourself over the trouble or something like that. Uh, or maybe use a time machine to go back in time before the trouble and plant some sort of jelly on the ground that makes them slow down so they don't come there in time and you can get past or something like that. In this game, you get on your bike and you drive towards the trouble because that's the sort of guy we're playing. Right, let's get these keys in. And um, apparently this thing is just ran on pure Promethium from 40k. Just flame, flame and dust. Yeah. 
Yeah. And then we get some really nice uh, voiceover as well. When I'm on the road. Like I say, it's uh, it, indestructible. It's gruff. But it's got a warmth to it as well, his voice. No one can stop me. No one can stop me. But they try. I'm sure. Yeah. They try. yeah. <laughs> and now we get into sadly what is not a very good part of the game, which is um, this combat, which is... It's hit and miss. It's hit and miss. Um, yeah. Essentially, oh, by the way, today's beverage is... Um, sadly, it's not bourbon, because, you know, that would be apt for this game. It's just, it's just coffee, black, no sugar. But, yeah, so that's the, what's the, one of the Rottweilers. Yeah, they have different types of bikes and stuff. Uh, later on, when you do the combat, you get, like, different types of bikes, like some, like, uh, agile bikes, some big heavy bikes like this, with the different types of uh, characters on the top. But, uh, either way, the combat is hit and miss at times. You get different weapons and stuff and whatnot, but, yeah, like I say, it's a bit iffy. But, either way, what we have to do is we have to essentially punch him in the face and dodge with the bike. So, let's just see what we can do here. So, we can... Um, uh, move left and right, and we can punch him in the head like that. Punch, 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 punch. I'm gonna sort of pull back a bit and um, punch, punch. Come on, come on! I've almost got him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Punch, 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 punch. Get him! There we go. Yeah. And then what we do is celebratory wheelie. So get some, because <laughs> you know that's safe. Yeah, but he's, he's you know he's full of elation, of course, and then his wheel drops off, so, you know, uh, that's the minus 10 man points for that, I'm afraid, and, uh, yeah, just just keep holding the wheelie, and um, this is sh this should be on fail army, essentially, uh, you just hold it, hold it, hold it, and then, no, big ball of flame, and, um, bye, and then you go off into the distance. <laughs> oh, dear, that's, um, not too good, is it? Yes. And, uh, now we get another maybe 20, 25 minutes of, uh, 25 minutes of like cutscenes and stuff which I will skip but anyway again uh, the reason I'm skipping it is for two reasons firstly it takes forever actually there's three reasons secondary uh, YouTube will probably just go oh look you've got a bit of footage there uh, oh we're just gonna we're just gonna unmonetize and claim all of that and uh, you're now gonna get a copyright strike <laughs> enjoy uh, and thirdly um, I really don't want to spoil too much because I really hope you would actually play this so uh, I say I'm not going to spoil uh, I say, let's not spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it for you. Essentially, this is Marine. She rescued us on the bike. Uh, actually, it wasn't her that rescued us. It was a reporter, which is downstairs. But um, she's now said, look, your bike's broke. Your fork's are knackered. you got no fuel. And um, you need to sort all that out. So we need to do that. We need to get fuel. We need to get some other stuff. Let's go. Let's pick up the hose. There you go. Let's pick up the, uh, the gas can. And uh, we'll go outside. There you go. Oh. You're not dead nope, definitely not I dead. You know what? That's it's it's obviously an old game, and what you're seeing is very pixelated because I've had to scale it up uh, for the video. But um, the colours, you know, they've got that nice and right. I like that. Uh, I heard you saved my life I heard anyway. You saved my life. Yeah, but don't worry. I wasn't trying to. Mm. I was just looking for some nice roadside disaster photos and you help. Oh, thanks very much. Thanks. Well, better take well, off. I'd better take off. All right. Drive safe now. Bye. Uh, by the way, if you if you talk to her a little bit more and say something like, "Can you give me a lift?" She goes, "No, no, I have uh, I've got any wheels. Sorry." Yeah. Um, let's see what happens. Is she going to drive off? Hang on. Let's have a little chat her again. Let's have a talk to Miranda. So, uh, listen, I've got to stop an ambush. Here we go. Listen, I've got to stop an ambush. Ambush? <laughs> Obviously, really? report as he is just immediately go. What? Uh, what? Uh, um, uh, I like this one. Do you think you can give me a lift? Right. So, obviously, that's what you think he's going to say, but no. Um, I, I, yeah? <laughs> this is hard for me. I, I need. Come on, man, spit it out. <laughs> Could you give me a ride in your car? I've got to stop this ambush. You're right. We have you got some good comic timing, yes. Right. But I'm afraid I'm nah, yeah. wheels at the moment. How did you get us here? Hitched. Well, I'd better yeah. be going. All right. So Drive apparently, apparently, um, has she been? Is she taking the piss? She keeps saying "drive safe." She knows our bike is wrecked. Uh, apparently, she she hitched here. So let's just drive off, uh, walk off rather. And uh, what happens? The reporter scumbag. We'll uh, decide to jump in a little car. It looks like a G-Wiz. And then uh, do you go, bye now. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Thanks for the lift. Thanks now for Now I got it. a quote for you. <laughs> 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 
Fantastic. So, we need a couple of things. We need fuel, we need front forks, and we need a welder. So the welder, we can have a wander around here. So let's uh, go to this place. And um, what's going on here? Well, you can hear something's going on down there. Either someone's doing some welding down there, or we're talking about some very sub-code wiring. <laughs> let's see if we can shout down. I'm not putting my lips on No, we that. can't shout down. Right, let's have a look at the door. Locked, but flimsy looking. Oh, we're on the door then. There you go. I do like the uh, contextual menu. It, it's uh, really, really slim. Like, I mean, it doesn't seem much now, but back in the day, really, really good. I'm trying to do my a really big change. Here, doing your art. I don't got time to waste on bums like you. Okay. I'm a friend of Moe's. Please, can we I come need... in? Listen, I didn't take no welding torch. Hmm. You hear me? I'm no crook. So get off my back already. Hmm. What do you want? I got a guy coming to look at my yard. Bye. <laughs> I love the widening, widening eyes. Oh, God. And then, yeah, we managed to kick a door open and knock this guy out. Let's put our lips on that. I'm not putting my lips on that. Nah, I didn't think so. Uh, this view defines true beauty. <laughs> right, so he's knocked out. Um, we've got a couple of things we need to go, like, in the refrigerator here. We can pick up a steak. It's meat. Uh, whatever this is, a cabinet. And pick up a lockpick. For reasons. And then we'll go downstairs. I find it interesting that the guy lives in a... The guy lives in a really wrecked caravan, yet he can afford an elevator to an underground system. <laughs> Fine. Looks like the guy's making loads of art, so we've got some sort of... What's that, like a... An emu? Uh, metal bird. What's it say? Emu? Ouch. Oh. I'm not putting my lips Grab on it. That. Take it. I don't collect art. No. I also don't collect whatever that is. <laughs> Fair enough. That's some sort of... Dog or that's probably a dog or a cat. That's like an emu or something. That's a pig by the look of it. But it's it's just bits of tin cans and stuff. Either way, I'm gonna pick up the welding torch and bring it back to more. That's my welding torch. I know. How'd you get it? Oh, it was just lying around. <laughs> a pair of forks, little gas. I forgot how humorous this game was actually. I knew there was some funny quips in it, but I really didn't. I didn't realize there was. Uh, like how funny it actually was. Either way, uh, we need to get some gas, so let's uh, take the lockpick and we'll open this up. Like I said, I haven't played this in five or six years. I can remember every action. There you go. There's one action I remember, I wouldn't say fondly, in fact, I remember it with um, disgust, hatred, and uh, other, insert generic, uh, <laughs> unpleasantries here. Uh, there's a bit where you have to open a secret door by kicking a bit of a wall at a certain time when the meters line up. And it would take you forever. Because you need to kick a certain crack in the wall. And you don't really know where it is in this big wall. And you have to wait until the meters get right ready. It was just a nightmare. So, this is a gas tower. Let's uh, climb up the ladder. Oh, and it set the alarm off. So, leg it. And, um, yeah. Looks like the cops are here. Again, arriving on some weird hovering platform thing that sounds like a helicopter but doesn't have any blades and there's us legging it away <laughs> I love the way he legs it he's like oh, run away so they're going to look around and say nah can't find anything and then they're going to drive off or is it fly off but we're going to go back so we know that grabbing that sets the alarm off so can we climb up it again no we can't so what do we do well we set it off, and then we go around the back, and we hide, because we're not going to nick the gas from the tower. We're going to go behind here and just uh, hide away a little bit, for reasons that will become clear in but a moment. Awesome music again. <laughs> mm. Have they got a big spike on the front of that? It looks like they have. Or is it just the way the lights were? Either way, they've got a big gun. I think it's some sort of airboat that was. It looks like some sort of like um, swamp boat or whatever with the propeller removed and now instead of floats instead. I don't see nobody. He must have run away. Mm. Yeah. So we can't see them. Running from the air. 
He must be hiding up in the tower. Right. We got him treed. <laughs> Let's go up and get him. Right, so they've gone up the tower to uh, hopefully get me. What I'm going to do is come down here. And I'm going to open the gas cap. <laughs> here we go. And uh, there we are. We'll get our petrol can. We'll get our hose. And uh, the lovely taste of petrol. Oh, 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 you put it wrong, wrong, okay, right, put it back. <laughs> there we go. And now we have to put our lips on that to uh, get the floor going. And we just siphon it off. And um, I love this bit of this animation here is fantastic. Over there. You go around the other side. All the petrol is spread all over the place as he runs off. Oh, God. <laughs> This game is still as good as it was back in the day. I mean, it had, like I say, some, you know, subpar combat. It was okay. Um, the story I find intriguing. I find it funny as hell at times. Uh, the voice acting's great. The music's fantastic. Obviously, it's, you know, looks old, but you know what? The things with these these sort of games, I think they age well. I think. I mean, that looks nice. Look at that. That looks pretty nice. It's just because of the colours and stuff, and it doesn't really matter about it's not high fidelity, but it's yeah, you know, good art. Anyway, that is a little bit of full throttle. I do stress a little bit. Uh, we've got forks yet for our bike, then we drive further forward, and then do loads of other stuff and meet new interesting characters and blah 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 blah. It is still a fantastic adventure game, one of the best I have played, one of my favourites, and I'm hoping that the remaster is going to be just as good, if not better. Obviously, they're going to be able to uh, hopefully make some changes to things like the combat and stuff and uh, I don't know if they're going to add any more I you know, I certainly hope that the uh, original voice of Ben is kept it would be ap I assume it is I only assume it is because it would be absolutely criminal not to either way that is full throttle it's fantastic hope you enjoyed the video links in the description for probably what is a link to the uh, the remaster and stuff although it isn't out yet as of the time of recording uh, and if you can pick you'll be able to pick this up probably from ebay or something like that or just your standard uh, second hand shop goodwill whatever i like it i'm gonna go actually go and complete it now because uh, it's uh wet my appetite for this sort of thing <laughs> uh, is that a cat down there there's something over there don't say I've found something new after quite a while of playing this. Mm, I don't know if there's a cat in there. There's nothing to click on. Don't say, don't, say I'm, say I'm, don't say I'm finding something new after 20 years of playing this thing. <laughs> oh, good grief. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.